the most complex type of plug you can currently create is the array plug. Like hook plugs, array plugs work by using existing Blender tools, specifically the array modifier. Unlike the hook plugs however, we need drivers to translate the movement of an empty, into the count property of the array mods. To get started, build your plug as you usually would. Keep in mind that you are building the minimal state of the array however. The minimal state should in most cases consists of a front cap, a center piece, and an end cap. All of these will be built as a single mesh initially and separated later. Depending on your design, you may skip the caps completely, but I think for most arrays caps make sense. What I'm building here is a pattern of three triangular surface impressions, that will be extended by two more triangles per array count. I'm now adding more geometry to ensure deformation. I dislike the sharp corner at the bottom, and want it rounded. However, the round corner should be outside of the center piece, which is a bit tricky here. Remember to create a straight edge loop, where the caps are going to be separated from the center piece. I didn't create a proper perimeter loop for the plug mesh, which is why the handle is a bit messed up here. It's easy enough to fix. Make sure the straight edge loop in the handle, aligns with the one in the plug mesh. As always, I'm just trying to create roughly even topology here. And I'm getting rid of end gons, by merging and connecting vertices. If you now check the automatically generated vertex group, you'll find that there are a number of surface level polygons, that are not part of the group yet. Fix it manually. The minimal state of the array plug is finished now. Select one cap and separate it out. Repeat for the other side. Caps and center piece are separate objects now. They have the same origin as well, which is great, because all we need to do now, is move the cap geometry over to the opposite side, as if it were to replace the center piece, and as if it were to directly connect to the other cap. You should then clear the plug properties of both caps. That's because they were created from the plug mesh, and so they are currently marked as plug meshes via the object properties as well. However, every plug can only have one plug mesh. When you clear the props, remember to not clear the vertex group as well. On the center piece, create an array modifier. 
lower the count to 1, enable merge, and pick the caps. We can set the draw type of the caps to boundary now. This way they don't get in our way. Test everything, by increasing the count property. Once done, repeat the process for the handle. But before you cut up the handle, it's a good idea to make a backup of it, and move it to another layer. We may want to come back to the handle backup, and create a deformer from it. As with the plug mesh, I'm splitting off the caps, and I'm moving their geometry in a way, as if I were to replace the center piece. And again, an array modifier is added to the center piece. Lower the count, enable merge, pick the caps, done. Don't forget to clear the plug properties of the handle caps as well. Again, the draw type can be set to boundary. Parent the caps of the plug mesh, and the caps of the handle, to the plug handle center piece. The handle is always supposed to be at the top of the plug hierarchy. As we did for the hook plugs, we want to use an empty to control the array plug. Parent it to the handle and lock two of its axes. Before we create the driver, to link the empty to the array mod, let's first temporarily toggle off the plug mesh array mod, and copy the X dimension of the center piece to the clipboard. Then create a driver for the plug and one for the handle. To set up the drivers, bring up the graph editor and change the mode to drivers. Initially, there will be a diagonal line in the graph, created by two vertices or keys. Zoom in and select the top one, not the one in the graph origin. Select frame and paste the X dimension we have in the clipboard. Leave the value at 1. Repeat for the handle. This way, we will be able to increase the array count by 1. For every 2.52 units we move the empty on the X axis. Go back to the plug mesh and switch to the drivers tab. Change the type to some values. Pick the empty as the object. Then, test it by moving the empty along the x-axis. If I now move the plug, you'll see the array count increase as well. That's because the driver is working with the world space location of the empty. Switch that to local space, and test again. Beautiful. Now repeat for the handle. The array plug is now finished and can be tested. According to the Validate Plug tool, everything is in order. I shouldn't just have hidden the support objects. Very nice. Let's try that again and extend the array this time. Due to the way the array modifier works, the plug origin will stay at the beginning, which means you can't just snap the entire array plug to a surface anymore and expect it to be aligned optimally. So look at it from the side, and rotate it a bit. Doing this in screen space is fine, no need for axis constraints. It doesn't seem to be necessary here, but it never hurts to supply a deformer, so let's do that. Get the handle backup created earlier. Set its plug properties from handle to deformer. Enter edit mode, move all its faces down, and extrude up to contain the entire plug mesh. Then separate the two caps. As before, move the caps to the center.
add an array, lower the count, enable merge, and pick the caps. Parent the deformer to the handle. Clear the cap properties. And once more, create a driver for the count value. Nice. Looks like a precision value of 6 is needed if the deformer is used for this plug at this length. As a side note, there's been a last minute addition, that allows you to transfer normals next to sharp edges now. I'm adding this plug to my library now. If you are interested in array plugs, you should study the ones in the examples library. They may seem hard to create at first, but it always follows the same process. I'd also just generally practice working with the array modifier. The most complex of plugs currently is the two-dimensional array plug, and it doesn't even have a deformer or subset. <laughs>